Watch Dogs, a great game with inexcusable flaws. Watch Dogs unfortunately suffers from hype. It promised amazing graphics and a deep open world. This is never achieved. But the 18 hour campaign featured here is one of the best open world campaigns I've played in a long time. Watch Dogs is a third person open world shooter game with a dash of puzzle. You play as Aiden Pierce trying to get to the bottom of his niece's murder. The storytelling in Watch Dogs is great, especially when your focus changes from your niece to someone else that I won't mention to prevent spoilers. But I feel like the transition was perfect due to that connection. It makes you care. It keeps you pushing forward. But at the same time, you're still going after everyone involved in the initial hit. And again, the writing and introduction to each character in this story is so great that you'll either really love or really hate someone. You feel Pierce's emotions personally, which creates a great deal of immersion in this story. To get the information on locations, you have to hack into buildings and servers, and there's freedom in the way you can approach this. Watch Dogs works great as a third person shooter with an intuitive cover system, an easy to access weapon wheel, tons of weapon variety, a great amount of ammo, and crafting parts for bombs. A great stealth system to silently take enemies down or to take them out with a silenced pistol. Or you can hack cameras and explosives. I personally had the most fun jumping from camera to camera, waiting for opportunities to explode fuse boxes, trigger alarms for takedown setups, activating the grenades inside of enemy pockets. Many times during the story, I didn't have to fire a single bullet to get everything I came for. I hopped from camera to camera, hacked into the system, and left. Hacking here is very simple and comes down to a pipe type puzzle of feeding a blue line into other pieces and unlocking them. And these sections are the only mandatory hacking sections, as again, you can just play as a third person shooter if you'd like. Outside of the 18 hour campaign though is the open world of Chicago and unfortunately the open world is the weakest aspect in the entire game. Think of this more as a hub world to extend playtime by spreading out mission locations because Ubisoft took zero note in crafting this open world as it has issues in its open world I haven't ran into since the PlayStation 2. Cars will disappear from where you left them if you run into a building to start a mission and come back out. During chases you have to ram cars to stop them or hack the world around you which is actually a great deal of fun during intense chases. To blow up streets, raise bridges and roadblocks while you're chasing or being chased by the police. But you can't shoot out of your window to shoot out tires despite enemies being able to shoot out while driving. Another annoyance with these chase missions is that if you do get the person you're chasing stuck, you can't just pull them out of the vehicle they're in. The only way to continue is to shoot them through the window or get back into your car and ram them until they get out. This isn't too annoying in the story but is highly annoying in online play when you have a random player trying to hack you. You can turn this feature off, but anyone at any time can enter your world, and you can do the same entering theirs for rep or co-op and competitive fun like races. But again, these are real people, not AI-controlled enemies. So trying to get a headshot on someone in a vehicle is much harder to do in this instance. And then there's hacking NPCs to profile them, to stop crimes from happening before they happen. I personally didn't enjoy this aspect at all. I found it to be shallow filler and had no interest in doing random chases as again the campaign created such a great deal of urgency that it created tunnel vision for me. There are also a bunch of side missions and cool mini games to do within the game. They're an enjoyable time but a mindless time and I didn't feel any urge to continue playing them after my first few times playing around in these modes. While Watch Dogs didn't deliver the groundbreaking experience it promised, if you can look past those promises for what it actually is, it's a great game with a great story. I give Watch Dogs an 8.5 out of 10. If you played Watch Dogs, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And tune in Monday for first impressions where you find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching. Where the fuck you go? Watch it, man. Spread out. He's down here somewhere. Uh, shit, careful. You gotta find that motherfucker. Go and get him.